All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mods seven season two. Guys, there's been a few things that I've done off camera that I should probably go ahead and show you. Uh, so let's go ahead and check those out. Yes, we have some dark oak trees, started up some tree farms. We have a lot of diamond tools now uh, that uh, been doing some mining. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but uh, yeah, we have some cool stuff that we got to do today. Uh, like actually getting a proper base set up. <gasps> oh no, my axe, it's broken. Um, I actually don't have any more diamonds, I think. Yeah, and there has actually been a few updates. I went ahead and updated the server, even though I said I wasn't going to. Uh, the reason why I did is because... Oh, we do have some more diamonds. Um, the reason why I did is because we just got a new update uh, that came out actually the day that I'm recording this uh, that includes uh, the drawer mod and immersive engineering and... I went to upgrade to that, realized that we couldn't. Uh, that was uh, 0 0.2.7, I think. And yeah, that unfortunately the Forge version uh, that that's running on is not available on uh, MC Pro hosting right now, so we can't upgrade to that just yet, but it will be available here really soon. I should probably check and see if it's available now. Nope, unfortunately, it is still not available for us to uh, download. It's a, it's a Forge version 39.0.6 is what we need it to be on. And unfortunately, we just don't have that yet. So we'll have to do that later. Uh, but yeah, we should... What was that? I think that was MC Pro hosting messaging me or something like that. That like freaked me out. I didn't know what that was at first. <laughs> it's like, um, am I talking to somebody now? This is awkward. Hopefully. Is anybody here? Can you hear me? Am I in a chat? I don't know. Nope, I'm not. Wait. I'm going to deafen myself in Discord just in case. Okay. So we got these back to being grown, but we're going to go check that out here. That's what I want to go ahead and do. Um, even though we re I really should get... Um, silk touch so I can grab some nether quartz uh, because in order to get the crystalline bees which this is going to be very important these guys uh, because these guys allow us to create quartz uh, and we need a lot of quartz like that's going to be one of the big things so this is how I want to go ahead and automate like we can do it through uh, mystical agriculture but we've done that so much. I haven't really used productive bees a whole lot, and we were getting into them. So I'm going to go ahead um, and commit war crimes on the cows of this world, uh, and we'll, we'll be back. Okay, so we don't quite have a full enchanting setup yet, but I was able to get Silk Touch on a shovel, which means we can go ahead and I think we can mine another quartz, because we only need a couple of them. Uh, but I haven't been into the nether yet. We're going to get the achievement here. So let's go ahead and see how bad it is. Okay. That ain't too bad. Got some soul stone from mystical agriculture. Okay, this isn't bad. Let's test it out. Uh, does silk touch work? It does. It says it needs a pickaxe. So I don't know if it works or not. I, I don't know if it will. This would be good for like beehives and stuff like that now. Um... Yeah, it no worky. It no worky. That's sad. Okay. So what it means is I need to go ahead and mine. Oop. And get some levels. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more levels here. And, oh, and uh, we'll have some fun. Oh, he's throwing things at me. I don't know what they are, but he's chucking stuff at me. I'm running. Oh, he just hit a pigman. Yeah, get him. They got him. Good job, pigman. There's a dude with the backpack. What was that? Stratolite. Mm. Mm. All right, so let's see if we can get some silk touch on this pickaxe. We got vein mining. It's an enchant. Uh, just vein mining. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that guy. 
And we are looking. Okay, level 18. Hi. No. No probability there. Um, hmm. Okay. So that didn't work. Uh, we're going to need to go get some more experience. <laughs> All right, round two. Let's see if we can get a decent enchant on this guy. That's just unbreaking. That might not be a bad idea to put on the hammer. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and put that on the hammer here. So let's see. I'm breaking three. Oh, efficiency three. I'm breaking three. Vein mining. Interesting. Okay, what about you? <gasps> we got it, Silk Touch guys. Oh my goodness. Let's go get some more uh, quartz. This is going to be great. Hmm. We seem to have some kind of lunar event going on. I got that. Is this the harvest moon? I don't know. It's definitely not a blood moon, so that's good. So I don't think we can sleep through blood moons, but we got ahead. We went ahead and got 26 of the um, the another quartz blocks. So what that means is we need to take our iron. Um, yes, is that all of the iron we have? Oh, yeah, we are running way low on that. Okay, so we have to go ahead make a few swords here. We're just gonna make. Uh, we're gonna make four. All right, and then we combine these together. These give us a quartz nest. And I have, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I've added more bees over here. Uh, so we have a total of, uh, these definitely aren't full by any means. Um, but yeah, we're getting honey here. We're getting the combs here. Honey here, combs there. And then I think combs here as well. Yes. Okay, and so what that means, we can go ahead and make the, the treats to go ahead and lure um, the bees in. So if we look over here, I've got quite a few um, honey bottles and stuff like that. So we need a total of four of those. Uh, so actually, we just need one more treat. Um, we should be able to combine them together like this. Yes, perfect. Okay. So these will have a timer. So we need to make sure we put the bees in the nether in a room that they cannot escape from. Um, and then we'll go AFK in there for a bit and make sure that we're all good. So we'll grab some cobbled deep slate. And we're going to make a little room and we'll be good to go after that. Okay, so here's our little room. I will just put some torches over here. Portal is over there. And so we have these quartz nests. Uh, and so we take our honey treats. Go click without the torches. Click, click, click. And as you can see, we have that population cooldown. So once that time is up, we will have some bees. Okay, so I just realized we also do the same thing with the glowstone nest. So we're going to actually go ahead and do that now. Uh, I did go get some more bee cages, but we're going to go ahead and make the glowstone ones uh, just because, like, I don't want to really have to go back. Uh, that's weird looking. Thanks for loading in, world. Perfect. Okay. So, yes, I do have a bit of glowstone. I was able to snag some. Where did I leave it? Uh, I believe it's in one of these chests. We definitely need to... Hurry up and upgrade. Uh, and was it just a wooden? Yeah, this is just a wooden sword. Very, very cool. Okay, uh, there were some sticks there we need. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make another four. I don't wanna use that good wood. That should be overkill, okay. Bam, alrighty. So a one, a two, a three, and a four, okay. So we have the four of those. We do need some more treats now. Uh, we just need four more. Perfect. All right, let's go. Ooh, let's go set up the glowstone nests. And so we'll have to wait a little bit. Ooh, hold up. We need to go ahead and do one more thing real quick. We need to grab some more bee cages. Um, Let's see, we just need one of these and two wood. Oh, I had the wood on me already, whoops. Okay, and so there we go. Now we have a total of eight of those so we can get all of the bees that we need. 
the bees and knees. <laughs> It'll also go ahead and light it up in there, too, so this will be cool. And then we'll just capture them, bring them in, and we'll breed them together, and we'll be on our way to victory of the bees. Yes. Oh, frick. I didn't click that last one. I misclicked. There we go. Okay. So now we wait. <clears throat> hey, hey. Oh, I don't have any. Look at that. One... Two, three, oh, four. Yes, now we just gotta wait. Oh, that's loud. Now we just gotta wait. Uh, just about. Ooh. Oh, so the more treats you put in, the less time it takes. I get it now. Okay, uh, I still gotta wait a little bit, though. But now we have the, the bees. Hey, hey, there's our first glowing bee. Very cool. All right, so I'm gonna wait here for the other ones to go, and I'll see you guys back in the overworld. Okay, so we are back in the overworld, and if we look here, we've got the glowing bees, the crystalline bees, everything's good to go. So I got rid of those, uh, but I need to go through. Do we have a digger bee here? Uh, we do have the ashy mining bee, which is very important. Um... We do not have that one. I uh, won't worry about the sweat bee too much. But we do need the chocolate mining bee. And so that's what we're going to be working on now. Uh, as we are going to be stabbing some dirt. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so I got a, a few... Hang on a second. Does it have to be coarse dirt? Is that what's going on? Ah, it has to be coarse dirt. Okay. Um, I believe I have a little bit of gravel. I do. Okay, so we can go ahead and turn all of this into coarse dirt, which is great. We even get more. Uh, and then we can go ahead and poke a hole. Okay, so we got a total of 16 nests. Uh, that is probably more than we need, but that is good. That is very good. I need to put this here. Okay, so... The cool thing is we have 16 of these guys. Um, but we don't have enough bee cages for them. Because I made too many. Well, let's go ahead and get some more of the, the good stuff. Okay, so now we got two of those. Okay, so now we should have enough of the the honey bottles here, which is great. So we can go ahead and create a bunch of these guys. Yep, so now we have 23 bee cages. We we'll only have 16 bees show up. So this is good. This is very good. All right, and so what I'm thinking is we just... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So now we just wait about 1,200 seconds, and we're good to go. And we'll have a bunch of bees, and hopefully we get a chocolate mining bee. And we get, we'll probably get a bunch more, too, which is great. Okay, so we got a leaf cutter, chocolate mining bee, ashy, ashy, ashy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, we, we have got them all. We have every single bee that we need. <laughs> Hello, chocolate mining bee. And then we got the leaf cutter. And then you're another chocolate mining bee. Ha <laughs> ha. Where are you going? Bro, come on down. Ha <laughs> ha. You're mine. Okay. 
Uh, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so 8. There he is. Leaf cut RB. Perfect. Okay. So that means we now have every single B that we require. That is amazing. Okay, so let's get all of these guys in Hida. We have quite a few Bs. Um, did we get one of these guys? <gasps> no, we didn't. Okay, so we need to we need to use this on some gravel. We can do that. Um. Okay, so let's get a little uh, bee breeding room going kind of over here. Uh, I'm going to clear out this area real quick. Okay, so we got a pretty janky uh, setup over here. So we got some pillagers who want to come out and hang out with us. But yes, to get... So the goal is iron bees, right? Uh, and so to get that, you need a crystalline and an ashy mining bee. So we have ashy mining bee and then the crystal bee. Uh, and then you breed them like normal. Uh, so here we go, crystalline bee. Um, actually, it might be, you wanna come out, there you go. And then we go boom, a boom. And 10. Okay, uh, 10 is okay. Do we have any more uses for 10 in this? We can use it for applied energistics. So maybe, maybe we do something interesting with it. Uh, other than that, we really don't have many uses for tin. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and come back later when, when these guys are ready to breed again. Uh, so this is gonna be a, kind of a bit of a long process. Okay, so it should be about time again. Yep, here we go. Let's see, can we get a, an iron bee? Nope, another tin bee. Perfect. Okay, so it looks like we are waiting again. Uh, I need to go collect some more flowers and uh, go to sleep. So anyways, <laughs> see you in the morning. All right, let's see what we get. Here we go. Crystalline bee. Give us something good. Another tin bee. Well, buddy, buckaroos. Well, I think I let him out. Come here. Uh, you're free to go. Uh, yoink. You're free to go. And you're free to go. Yes. We let them wander around and hopefully get lost and never come back because they're tin bees and tin bees are kind of worthless. Yes. I wait, wait. Ooh, an aluminum bee. Okay. Um... What can we use aluminum for? Right, so we get the aluminum bee, aluminum comb. I've got a feeling it's simil similar to tin. It's feeling similar to tin. Dang. Oh, yes, we got an iron bee. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that. Episode two, iron bee. So that means we got iron production. All right, we just need one more of those, and we're off to the races. And there's our second iron bee. Oh, yes, we can get started. Yes, this is great. Okay, perfect. You guys move. We are on our way to victory. Oh, 
Okay, so now that we have the iron bees, we have to go ahead and get a way to process the, the combs that they produce. Uh, so that means we're going to need a centrifuge. We're going to need a couple other things. Uh, but the centrifuge is the first thing we need, and it's really simple. Uh, you just combine a grindstone and a cauldron together uh, to get one of these guys. Or you can do the grindstone with like a cauldron almost surrounding it and iron ingots. Uh, so now that we have that, we can actually take the combs out and, um, you know do some cool stuff with them. But I would like to go ahead and make a um, an advanced beehive for this so we can start to kind of automate it. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make one of those real quick. Okay, so we make the normal beehive here like so. And then we do one of these. We make a normal campfire. And then we make the advanced oak beehive okay oh beehive <laughs> so we have this guy made do i have any extra glass made oh, i thought i had some more glass available i don't think i do oh there it is that is not as much as i thought i had okay i lied here's the the rest perfect so we're gonna go ahead and start the process of collecting some of this stuff very cool um so let's go ahead. We're going to make one hopper, like so. We're going to make one block of iron, and then we're going to use that for the rest. Um, and so now what we can do is kind of come out here. Um, and we're going to kind of keep it in the same area for now. Like, obviously, like this whole area is going to be our base, uh, so we'll, we'll make it bigger eventually. But one, two, three. And if you guys had seen my previous series, or the, yeah, previous series, you'll know that uh, this is exactly what we did. Uh, that's a tricky door. Where'd the door go? Door? Okay, door's back. <laughs> that was odd. Okay, so we come up here. And we're just going to put a simple little roof on this guy. Uh, yeah, we can break this guy in the middle. Place this here, and then I do a glowstone in the middle. Very cool and cool. So we're down here now. So we'll put the iron block here. We'll put the advanced oak beehive here. And then we will take the bees and we will let them grow up in here. Now, if we give them some flowers, they will grow faster. Uh, but not too much faster. But then we'll be able to instantly pull things uh, right out of this. So we should probably do something like that. And then put this on top. So that's their home. They'll go in here. Uh, we can also expand this, which is amazing. Why did that? Where did Where did that go? Um, okay, chest, chest is gone, but we'll be able to get stuff out of there. That was weird. Oh, how, how did you get in there? Like, okay, I'm not going to complain. All right, guys, so uh, we've gotten quite a bit of the honeycombs from the iron bees over here. Uh, I should probably try to breed those guys together. Let me see. Can I find some quick flowers? Yes, we can. Perfect. Whoops. Come here, you. Okay, so I've already set up the centrifuge, you know, just messing around because I haven't actually messed around with the non-powered one. And they're in here. Dudes. Dudes, don't you don't you want to cut out? I mean, you're making iron for me, but don't you want to have a, a fun time? Um, so yeah, over here we have the centrifuge, which has processed up some iron. I've been using my copper ore hammer to go ahead and smash it, so we're doubling, doubling our efforts and getting all of the iron we can. I don't believe there is a way to get triple iron. 
unfortunately. But you know, uh, power centrifuge, just two uh, redstone on top of it, and then we can also swap this out. Yeah, so we can use that as fuel as well. So that's amazing. Uh, but yeah, so let me throw it in here. Um, iron combs get processed up. Uh, if you guys have seen my other videos, you'll know uh, what this is like. It's just much slower uh, than the powered one because the powered one, you know, you give it power and it moves faster. Just kind of basic, you know, normal uh, logic. So uh, we did get some iron on that one. That was cool. Uh, so yeah, just, you know, smacking it up. You get two for one. It's a good bargain deal. But yes, we now have iron being produced we no longer have to go binding for iron uh and now it'll only get better when we you know breed these guys up um you know you can get a total of five in there uh, so that's going to be the next step that we're doing now is uh getting that extension on there um let's see where yes an oak expansion box uh, if we craft this up, super duper easy to craft, uh, but if we do so, it will allow us, it will allow us to add two more bees into that thing, uh, and to that advanced uh, beehive box. So that's what we're going to be doing, and are both bees out? Yes, both bees are out. So we can breed these two together, and we can get a little baby, baby iron bee, yes. Perfect. And so then we can also place this here. And as you can see, we now have two more slots available. Now, even like this is very, very jank. And I will end up, you know, once we have more iron being produced, uh, we will run this hopper out over here so I can collect it from outside and not having to, you know, worry. Oof, I hit my, I hit the mic. Uh, not having to worry about the bees, you know, going down there and getting stuck or something like that, uh, which is good. Very good. So yeah, we have the expansion box on. We have the advanced oak there. We have iron being processed here. We no longer have to mine for it. I think next episode we're gonna go ahead and try to automate this, get some kind of automation going in for the iron bees, just because we're gonna need so much iron going forward. It's not even really funny. Um, so I'm just looking here, is there a way? So if we crush it. Okay, so it's, it's just one one for one if we crush it there. Um, Crimson Knight, no. Nope, okay. So then use is here. What can we actually use it for? So we can compact it there. We can mix it with a hammer. That's what we're already doing. Um, this will give us experience for it, which might be decent. Cook it there, give it to him. He cooks it, crush it. Okay, yeah, so there's really no benefit, um, like I'm doubling the ores. We might have to figure out a way to do that automatically. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode for today. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys are fantastic. Again, leave any suggestions you have, what you want to see in the series for this, uh, this series. Yeah, down in the comment section below, I would love to see what you guys have to say. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Check out the videos on your screen now. I think you'll like them. Anyways, peace out. Bye-bye.